join us as we go to Sanje district to see the white elephant. This area of Malawi is called the Lower Shire and it is where the Shire River joins with the Zambezi River. From my previous videos you may have um, learned that uh, the Shire River is the only outlet of Lake Malawi. Yeah, so um, it flows into uh, the Zambezi River which later on flows into the Indian Ocean. Yeah, so that's where we're going. There is actually a white elephant there that you're gonna see. This area is rightly known as the Lower Shire. You can see uh, the way you, we started descending all the way down um, to a very, very low altitude um, in Malawi. I think it's the lowest altitude that we can get in the uh, country of Malawi. We have just stopped by to get some good views of the Lower Shire. Yeah, so this place is called uh, the Kamuzu view. Uh, it gives us um, uh, a good, uh, like, 270 degrees uh, views of the area. This is a common stopover, really, for people going to the Lower Shire. Um, there's a toilet here, a paying toilet at 200 kwacha. Um, if you'd convert it to the dollar, it would be uh, just a few cents. Um, a lot of people stop over here, maybe if they are hiking uh, or they are going to the Lower Shire, they would like to enjoy the views. Um, so, down there is the road where we are going. Um, it's just meandering down there. We'll be passing through that road. Are going to the Roa Shire. So it's a very good place where others they come here for partying and for the braai. Yeah, it's it's a multi-purpose uh, stopover as we are going to the Lower Shire. This young man also is just uh, coming from the villages from uh, just behind them, the, the hill, the mountain. Yeah, so he just come to uh, to rest. The road is passing down there. You can see this. It's where the road is. Right now we are up. We will be going forward. We've resumed our descent. There it is, the Shire River, going to the Zambezi River in Mozambique. This area, because it is lying on a low altitude, is usually prone to floods. So almost every year uh, there are floods reported. And this diversion is due to the floods that I was telling you about earlier. Um, uh, this area is really prone to floods it, uh, because it's low-lying. Apparently, there used to be a whole village here and a road that could connect Sanje district to Tiolo district. However, it was all washed away by the flood. Cyclone Anne. Since 
The lower shire is the great basket of beef in Malawi. It supplies the whole of Malawi with beef. It comes from here. And you observe that there are so many cows in the road as we are driving. Yeah, because I think the climate here is conducive for the raising of cows. The Shire River, there it is, going all the way to the Zambezi. You can see the cow dung all over the road. Just evidence that there's lots and lots of cows here. This is uh, the area also where we grow sugar cane in Malawi. Uh, the sugar comes from here, uh, produced by the Ilovo uh, Sugar Corporation. Oh, oh, that you can see on the sides of the road are sugar plantations. Yeah, so Ilovo supplies um, almost 90% 90, 90 of the sugar supplies in Malawi and also some goes for export market. So right now we are in Chikwawa district. From Chikwawa district that's when we go into Msanje district. So if you are going to Majete game reserve, it's a very nice game reserve, uh, you have to pass through this road. Okay. these cows are so entitled they're just like this is cowland we're not gonna move off the road We are now down in Nsanje district, as you can see, uh, Nsanje port. Now let's go and see the famous white elephant. You can smell the water. It's just a lodge. 
So you know what in the Chinese? The woman the wine, Yes. Okay, okay. Eh, ni mada ya mananga tiye. Unga jenguji kunya unga kumanga doo mani mamu za tupitani. Eh. Eh, yetu. Sanje Inland Port was a very important project. Not only for Malawi. This project was a Comesa project. It was an international project between Zambia, Malawi, and Zimbabwe. And uh, because Mozambique is not part of Comesa, then president uh, that time was president gebuza did not support the project and he managed two three presidents were here the late bingu wamtalika uh, robert mugabe and uh, and that time was uh, who was the president of zambia they landed here waiting for the badge coming from Baylor. and uh, if i'm not wrong i think that was in 2011 and the badge from Baylor never landed here because President Gebuza uh, confiscated that badge and there was uh, people, there were people in, in, in Baylor and Maputo that wanted to escort the badge and the President Gebuza confiscated the badge and the people here waited in vain and this project because uh, 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 the government of Mozambique uh, constructed a bridge at, across Zambez and uh, this project couldn't sustain and at that time uh, between government of Mozambique and Malawi they were conducting technical feasibility study seeing whether little budgets can move from Baylor to this to this to this spot and uh, that technical feasibility study indicated that it is possible for budgets to come from Baylor to this place but because the government of Mozambique constructed a, a bridge over uh, Zambez it was technically very difficult so that the budgets could come even though other transport experts say that the budgets could even pass under that bridge. And now we are looking at the resources. The government doesn't have enough resources to finalize this project. And this was the dream of the late Bingu Wamtaliga. Actually, even Dr. Banda. It's sad that this project did not materialize, but I'm hoping that uh, in future, the government of Malawi and Mozambique will agree to finalize it. We are now on our way back to the planter city. As usual, cows on the road. Nature. One of the best things. Did you have an energy drink? Was it drinking a drink? Mm -hmm. eh? Yes. Eh, enjoying it. Really. Should be my forties. My forties, fifties, as well. 